Morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It's Friday, January 12th, 2024. And the markets um, took a drop earlier this morning when uh, bank earnings came out, and then uh, some inflation data came out. Uh, it was oh, it was data on um, uh, the businesses and how much they have to spend, basically. Uh, and then it liked that data, and so you can kind of see here on the. Dow and S and P futures here. You can see how it's kind of dropped, and now it's driving up. So, I was kind of hoping we would get some pullback today to get some juice in the markets, but I don't know. Fridays are always a little unpredictable, and if you're new, um. A lot of times on Fridays, I'm, I only do a couple trades and, and you know, like get in, get out quick. And um, a lot of times you can see a lot of chop on a Friday after about the first 30 minutes. But, you know, with the times we're in, you just never know. Um, could see some swings today I, with some of this data that came out and earnings starting, but. I guess we will wait and see. So there goes the bell. Don't forget to make sure that you uh, position size appropriately for your account. All the indices in the green. Dow is up 54. NASDAQ up 41. S&P up 16. And the VIX is up a half a percent. But it has come down. It was. It, it did peak out at uh, about 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. It was... Touched above 13 and then came right back down. NVIDIA about every day hits all-time highs. You would think at some point NVIDIA is going to have somewhat of a pullback. Microsoft yesterday overtook Apple as the richest company, but Apple has since gained it back after a push-up yesterday afternoon. Morning, Cosmo, Deox. Disco, Christian, Bumblebee. Happy Friday, everyone. JPM had earnings this morning. You can see it's up uh, a little under 3%. Nice push up. This push up here was when the markets pushed up and then inflation data came out. So then the markets went down and now they've come back up. Yeah, I didn't. I thought I heard on one of the business channels that I have on uh, kind of beside me that uh, didn't earnings didn't seem to be great, but maybe I heard that wrong.
Tesla pushing up. I was looking at the NTT chart this morning on Tesla because it's really struggled. Show you a screenshot here. just turned into a downtrend and it's struggled here as of late and now it's in a downtrend so but pushing up at the moment So we got some of these tech stocks pushing down, Netflix, Amazon, and then the rest of them here pushing up. Steve and I talked a little bit uh, for you, those of you that do the zero DTE trades uh, with his morning and then power hour. You know, some of you had mentioned, you know, that I should have a live stream, whatnot. It's it's really not feasible for me to be in a have a live stream because when when you're doing it, morning iron condors, lunchtime iron condors, power hour, like I just can't be live all day long. You know, so just trying to think about how we could approach that. And he he touched on it yesterday, but you know, my thought was to just do a co-host when he does his um, power hour and um, morning zero DTE because um, he trades a little differently than me. So if you have questions about his uh, approach, then you just ask him and he's able to talk about it. And if you have questions about my approach, I mean, so either in the morning or power hour, that's two opportunities to ask me and then I can verbally tell you. Um, yeah, and I could say things like, okay, I'm getting ready to put on a trade here. But the hardest part for me is when people ask me questions during power hour because everything's going so fast and it's hard for me to respond while, continue, like, while trying to do all my orders. You know, like instead of typing them in in Discord, and then having to go to my orders and keep track of all that because power hour moves pretty quick sometimes. Um, I think, I, uh, you know, my thought was a co-host situation would be easy. So if somebody types uh, a question in the discord, I can just chime in right there. You know, I can talk while I'm doing my orders or whatever. So for those of you that um, participate in power hour, and or the, his morning zero DTE. What are your thoughts on that approach? We actually tried to do a little co-hosting when we first... Um, when we first rolled out uh, the day trading, like what I'm doing now. But the problem was with that is it didn't flow very well because we were taking the same trades, you know? So like we were doing identically the same thing. So with his morning zero DTE and my power hour, we're doing a little bit different. So to me, it would make more sense than do a, a co-host when you're doing something a little bit different. I appreciate the feedback, guys. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Chris says Beyond Meat Volume Bar. So if you guys want to check that out, I, I just don't 
trade it. And also because it's so small. So for me to trade it, it's just too small. I don't even know what Beyond Meat is anymore. Yeah, it's like seven bucks. I don't I don't have any seven dollar stocks on my board. VIX popped up just a little, come back down. Trading naked, what indicator do you use to see consolidation? I use the five, I use these five minute, I use this futures five minute uh, volume and price bars. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think maybe in February we're gonna give it a try, possibly, or maybe when Steve gets back at his trip end of January. Um, I go to I go to I, I'll I'll probably miss most of Power Hour today. I have a doctor appointment at two forty five. It's just my annual physical, but I'm gonna talk to him about my voice and see if he can give me something. So <laughs> hopefully by next week I can get this my voice back to normal. Last time this happened to me, I don't remember when it was, a couple of years ago, he gave me like some prednisone or a steroid and it um, fixed it. I probably don't hydrate myself well enough either to, like I should be. Yeah, not seeing any volume bars, which isn't really surprising on a Friday. Who, who's, who's, who's Trump's attorney? I, he's gone. He's had so many, I don't even keep track of him anymore. <laughs> Sound like Rod Stewart? Forever Young, man. One of the greatest songs of all time. 80s, man. So a lot of stocks are green. NVIDIA, Roku, Tesla staying red. Roblox down a little under 2%. Riot Blockchain uh, down 6%. So Riot's been hit hard. I this new ETF, I don't know, you can kind of see with my price how it's kind of dropped. Um, so we'll look for some mighty 90s now. One thing uh, also Steve and I talked about is um, me uh, sometimes me filling in for him when he can't do power hour, um, which I can do that too, um, but I just wouldn't be able to probably – help anybody on the things that he does. Um, maybe it would help. Maybe it would help you all if I'm sharing my screen that has the, the price movement on it. I know a lot of this price action is something that's people a lot of times have questions about. So maybe if on days he's not around and I could sh share my price action and just show you what I'm watching for. To be honest with you, like I don't even look at his screen when he's in power hour or if he's doing the morning. Like I have I have my own screens up. I'm just listening to him. Yeah. It's I mean, sharing a screen to me really like once you know how to trade the strategy, like it doesn't really do any good to share it. Like you gotta have, have your own screen. To me, like sharing something, it's best to share like the price action because you know, maybe you're going to want to take a look at the price action that I'm looking at. But like, as far as like this situation, buying puts and calls is super easy. And then once you know how to trade an iron condor, that's super easy. And if you need to do, learn how to do an OCO, just it's in the course. So, okay. So meta might be getting a, a big volume bar here. Uh, also today we trade the seven DTE. So seven days to expiration. So uh, don't do the zero. You might find yourself in a bit of trouble. It does move fast. So so here, Meta's pulling back a little bit. So this is like a good time to enter if it was to pull back close to this pivot. 
um, as long as it doesn't come down and flip red in the last minute. So I'm going to give it just a second here. Um, if I was to trade and get to the 7 DTE, I would probably trade the 375 calls. So it's got a little over a minute left. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in here. Try to get filled at, uh -huh, let's say, 450. Doesn't look like it's going to pull back below the pivot now. But I hope it still comes down a little bit and fills me. Uber looks like it's getting a big volume bar to the upside as well. I haven't traded Uber a lot, but I have traded it. Yeah, the thing is, is it could the next bar though, it could come down, touch the pivot, which would probably fill me. Um, it was a trade like this. I think it was in Nvidia or something a couple of days ago, where it pulled back, and then I got in, and then in the last minute, it went below it, and then it just dropped. Yeah, it's hope it comes down here. Okay, so Boeing has a little mighty 90 here. So if it pushes down below lows of day, I might entertain there a long mighty 90. See if I would have gotten in. Well, maybe it'll come back down. If I was able to get filled at 550, it's currently trading at five bucks. So it's, I would have already filled 10% right there. Yeah. It might come down here a little bit yet. <laughs> Netflix going through lows of day. And yeah, Boeing already popped up, so forget that one. Build at four fifty. That was the three seventy five call. So I would close half. Uh, you could even get a better fill than 450, man. But I would close half at five bucks. <clears throat> Amazon pushing through highs of day. No pullback in Uber. Uh, Roku really popped up. Square pushing through highs of day. Roblox pushing up. Costco up to highs of day. Baba through highs of day. Where's our meta through highs of day? 
Yeah, Bob has got a big volume bar. Yeah, it's meta that I'm in, but Bob is producing a big volume bar. So if it was to pull back around yesterday's high, it might be a good spot to get in. Man, all this push up and meta's not doing it. VIX did pop up a little bit here. Wow. Okay, so Bob is pushing back a little bit. So, Bob, uh, I would trade the 73 calls. Trying to get filled at a dollar forty four. May have left me. So I got a working order in at a dollar forty four in Baba on the seventy three calls. If it pulls back in here. Seeing some strength here. So hoping Baba comes down, touches where I'm at, and pops right back up. Yeah, so Roku's kind of a mighty 90. Let me ch let me check. Uh filled at a dollar forty four in Baba. Yeah, Roku might be a little might be a mighty ninety, but let me get this order in. So Baba, I would close half at a dollar sixty. Yeah, so it actually pushed down kind of through. Highs of day, so I don't want to see it go down any further. So the exit on Baba would be if it goes below this point right here. Yeah, so let me take a look at Roku quick. Yeah, that bar is almost as big as the first, so I'm just going to ignore that, honestly. It's like a tick or two away, so... If they're close to as big as the first, I don't usually take them as mighty 90s because it's a good potential, you know, it's so close to being an upside volume runner. Man. Come on, Baba. Oh, I got a good feeling, Baba, too. So it's right there at my exit point. Uh, filled in meta at $5. Close half. And Tesla pushing up. So in Meta, I would close another one at five fifty. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, filled at 550. To close a quarter of meta. I don't know, but Baba would cooperate. Jeez. Meta getting another big bar. Yeah, let's hope so. I don't want to see it go any lower. So Meta's going to get another big bar. Uh, so, so people that have questions about Mighty 90 and Runner. So that Roku bar that Chris had mentioned. So technically, yes, this is a Mighty 90, but I've played enough of them to know like, it's it's a tick or two away from being as big as the first. So a lot of times I would see a little pullback and instead of getting a second red bar, then it pushes up. So when it's really close to as big as the first, I, I, I just tend to stay away from them because I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen. I am not liking the price action in Baba. One bit. You need to see a change pretty quick here. Remember, volume runner, runner you want to pull back and then it take off. I mean, Meta is a perfect example of one. And it may dip its toe below this and then pop back up. So I'm just. Just going to hold on to it. Might not have been a bad time to add right there. I got in a dollar, when I get in dollar 44. So. Yeah, let me. I might add a little bit to my Baba here, maybe. Build it at a dollar thirty-four to add to Baba, so I'm taking a little bit more risk here. But this is why you position size to be able to do this. If it goes against me here and starts to push down, I'll just close everything. Um, See, okay, see Roku there? That's exactly, exactly why I don't play that in Mighty 90 short when that bar is almost as big as the first. Well, Zoom had a fancy yeah, Zoom, same thing. It's either a mighty 90 or real close to an upside volume runner. So I will close half of my Baba at a buck 50.
Netflix getting a little mighty 90, it looks like, short. So I want to see it push up a little bit more. Come on, Baba. Yeah, Netflix getting it needs to push up through it needs to push up about right to the top of this consolidation for me to get short. Dang it, Baba. All right, closing Baba. A little buck thirty five to close. Man, that was a bummer in Baba. Good example of a failed volume runner, folks. Yeah, so Netflix, it even retraced. So I'm going to go ahead and close my last meta as well. Filled at 445. So just under my original fill. So uh -oh. things getting weak here. So now it's about time where I might start looking for some continuation runners as well. No, no mighty 90. I don't I don't consider this a mighty 90 here. It's just not enough volume separation. Dow has gone in the red. Vic's coming up. Baba rips to highs of day. I would not be surprised. Uh, I haven't looked at my AMIC yet, just because I haven't had time, but I'll be looking at it here shortly. So, okay. So let's talk about... Um, my AM iron condor. So here you can see there's been a push up and now a second push down. So if I would have uh, put on right away, it would have got off center. Now it would have gotten back into center on this push down, but what if it would have just pulled back a little bit and then pushed up one more time? So, you, you know, I, that's why I usually wait, to see where it's at after the second push. Uh, we got some stocks coming down. So now that it's pushed up and down, I'll kind of wait to see and look for a little consolidation and then jump in. So not seeing much of anything right now. I 
that Uber, Uber volume, you know, had that volume runner. Now it looks like it's getting a big bar to the downside, unless it, I guess it's got time to flip green yet. I might get a mighty ninety long out of some of these, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah, not not a mighty ninety, because what's this bar doing there, Bumblebee? Right. So that would make it a what? Yeah. Be a, be a downside volume runner. Yeah, I knew that Netflix. I saw that Netflix one flipped. Let me look at Amazon. In toss. Yeah, in toss, it's not as big as the first. So uh, uh this bar and, and toss it's not this big so it would all be closer to a mighty 90 and toss maybe that's what bumblebee was first looking at maybe he was looking at something besides orion because i would agree with bumblebee that it was a mighty 90 when i look at toss over here on it on orion it's almost as big as the first so I would I would classify this closer to what Bumblebee said as my 90. It's already popped up a little bit though. Okay, so I'm gonna look to enter a zero DTE iron condor looking at the 4805 calls. And the 47.65 puts. With 50 points wide. I use both. Well, what you see in my screen here, MRP is Orion. Filled at 635 by Iron Condor. Accidentally, I accidentally did too many contracts because I was preoccupied. Yeah, so I use Thinkorswim and um, Orion. I, I use Orion for my price movement. Think or swim to execute, execute my orders. I'm going to, I'm going to enter them. I'm going to post it right now in the live. Chat. What else we got? We got some stuff popping back up, man. What else we got going on here? Meta, Meta did pop back up.
All right, so my um, zero DTE iron condor 20% would be 4.75. I'm sorry, it wouldn't be that. That would be the trailing stop. 4.75, 5.10 would be my 20%. So 5.10, 4.75, trailing stop. All right. So let's see what else we got. Baba finally popped back up. So Tesla, push up. Pull down a little pop. Looks like it wants to come back down. I'd like to get short Tesla here, but not when it's pushing down like this. I'd like for it to try to like come back up and then get forced back down. So you got to push up, pull back, a little, bump, a little bump up, but it, it may not come up any higher. AMD push down a little bump up. It's like it might want to roll over too. Darn it, Tesla. This wasn't quick enough. Oh, maybe it's going to come up for me a little bit. I might jump in here short and then um, just position size to be able to add. So I would trade the 222.5 puts. I get filled at 455. Filled at 455. So, a little downside continuation, not the ideal place to get in, but position sized to add to it. Filled at 455. So, I would close half at five bucks. And it doesn't look like it's going to bounce up, but if it would have, I would have added to it if it popped up a little bit. Vic's coming back up a little bit. I'd have been quicker on test side. Probably be at a 10% by now. Baidu, push down, pop up, push down, pop up. Could be a downside continuation as well.
So I haven't really got this market figured out. Dow is down 153. Everything else is in the green, but man, it doesn't seem like it wants to stay green. See you, Bumblebee. Meta popping back up. But if you take a look at Meta, like that is not what a volume runner should look like. So I have no problem with my decision on how to get out or around when to get when I got out. Baba trying to pop back up as well. Oh, rat. Tesla struggling. That's a good sign. I think I'm going to go ahead and get short bite you on a uh, downside continuation runner. I'll show you why here in just a second. 115 puts. Trying to jump in here at 214. Oh, man, it came down already? Come on. Back up there. So if I, I was trying to get in at the top of this bar, because if it pushes above that red bar next to it, I would just bail on it. So it's a small losing trade. See, but if I get in right now and then it pushes up above it, it becomes a big losing trade. That's the importance of your fill. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I'm going to try to get filled at 215. Gosh, dang it. I knew that was going to be it. I knew it was going to do that. Okay, so that's just years of watching price action, folks. Cancel my buy due. Should have been more aggressive. Should have, could have, would have. Put it five bucks. Close half my Tesla. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Future's coming down a little bit. I better check my iron condor. Okay, it's moving to the left a little bit. It's still in range. Oh, I, don't, I think it's doing fine, Krish. What's well, not doing well about it? Dog, would you stop licking me? Oh, 
Look at it. It's still. Oh, you have different strikes. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so for me to add to one, it would need to come over to here. Tesla trying to pop back up a little bit. Darn it, Baidu, man. <sighs> Last couple of days, man, I've missed I've missed some of these. Yeah, I just I just couldn't get in quick enough. I just couldn't. Uh, it, I mean, it really didn't stay up there very long. I can tell you that. Tesla trying to pop up here a little bit. Let's see what the old VIX is doing. VIX coming down just a little. Um, so, Baidu may be giving me another chance here, though. So, I'm going to go... 115 puts again. And filled at 235. So it popped up a little bit right here. So push down, pop up, push down, pop up. And so I'm hoping for a rollback over here. So I'm going to um, put it in an order at 260 to close half. And you could definitely have gotten a better fill than me. That's the struggling. <laughs> Penny better. Probably could have even got a better one than that. I guess. Oh no. And I can I position size so that I can add to bite you here. Yeah, you, you might if it bounces up here, maybe you can re enter. So if Baidu gets to about 215, I will re-enter. Or I mean, I will add to it. And then if Baidu goes above this little consolidation here, then I would get, then I would cut it. That's how I play these continuation runners. Yeah, it's widened a bit. It's coming down a little bit, though. Come on, Baidu. Hit me. Hit me. Hit my ad. Please.
Dang it. Doesn't look like it's going to. Maybe it will. If I say it's not going to, it will. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. It's not going to. It's coming down. It ain't going to pop back up. Brat. I'm going to cancel my ad in Baba. I mean, Baidu, I'm sorry. You know what? I need to put an order in Tesla. I'm closing our Tesla at 550. That kid, Tesla. He said, did you re-enter, Krish? Ah. Man, I, I tell you what, though, that ad and buy you would have been stellar. So there's two ways to look at these continuation runners. You can wait towards the end of the bar and see how high up it gets. Or you could jump in somewhere. And if it gets higher towards the end of the bar, you can add to it. I've got two ways you can play these based on your risk management and position sizing. See, my, my Baidu is only, I'm only up $8. Because I didn't get a good fill and I didn't get filled on my ad. So it's come all the way back down here about one point and just to get me to about break even. So that that's the purpose of potentially adding to a position. Starting to see a lot of chop. I mean, NVIDIA is doing nothing but chopping. So I doubt I get in any more trades. It's almost 9.30 Central. Got a winner in Meta, loser in Baba, and still to be determined in Tesla and Baidu. See if there's any others I would recommend if you want to keep doing some continuation runners. AMD, if it pushes down and just consolidates and it can't get any higher, it could be consolidating for a continued push lower. That's about all I see here. Uber, push up, consolidating, looks like it wants to go higher. Well, Baba, it's time that you flush yourself. You didn't get into Baidu at all, Krish? Oh, yeah, the ad, the ad was definitely a mess. So you think about the ad, we probably would have been able to close it at the original fill by now. <laughs> Ooh, look at Meta. Interesting. Push down. Now it looks like it wants to go through highs of day. I better get pushed back down. So I don't think I'm going to get anything else. So in anything else. So this is what I'm going to do, folks. Um, 
Baidu, if it pushes up above this consolidation, I will get out of it. Okay. Tesla is coming up to potentially. Actually, I probably would give Tesla if it pushes up above right here. Then I would get out. Otherwise, I might add to it. Ali Piero, 73. All right, 350. Nice job. So if Tesla pushes above right here, I'll be out. I might add to it. What have I been in Tesla for so far today? Uh, got in at 455. Okay. My original is 455. And what's it currently at? It's currently at 480. So if it gets back up to like 450 area, I may add to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm just going to go ahead and add to Tesla right now. See if I can get filled at 475. Filled at four, is it 74 or 75? Filled at 474 to add to Tesla. So I had already filled half. So now I was just adding back up to my normal position size. That makes sense. So if it pushes up above this consolidation, then I would bail on it. Yeah, and Baidu looks like it wants to go lower, man. Steve. And by do. Looks like it's coming down, but it's not coming down very fast. There it goes. Maybe I can fill here. So Meta pushed back up to that pivot, got forced back down. So, folks, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, I'm going to be scaling out of Baidu here. If it pushes above this consolidation, I'll close. And Tesla, if it pushes up above this consolidation at the point right here, I will close it. All right. All right. No trading on Monday. So, I'll be back in uh, leading the live stream Tuesday. So, uh, I will not probably be in power hour today because I have a doctor's appointment. I mentioned that. So anyway, you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you later. Peace.